All right, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to calibrate my ESCs. I have a, a, a Emacs 4-in-1 uh, centralized ESC. It's got four ESCs in one unit. It's down in the middle of my craft. You can't even see it. You can't see any of the ESC. I don't have anything taped to the arms like most of these copters do because it's all in one unit in the middle. Anyway, what you got, you got to... You have to calibrate it just like any other ESC. And what I'm going to do is go in here into Arduino. And they have a special uh, defined ESC calibrate. Cannot fly. You have to take the two lines out. And I'm going to show how this works too. Uh, then you go ahead and what you do is you compile it. It's called verify there. But you compile it. It'll come up down here with the... Uh, if it's all white and no yellow, you're good to go. And that green line goes all the way across when it's done compiling. Now, I've never had the battery attached to it while I did this before. I just messed around and see, saw how it worked. Okay, once you have that done, then you have to upload. It's called a sketch. So you hit upload. you got the green bar going across again. And then when, when it gets done, or when it uploads, you'll see lights flashing, red lights. And uh, when it gets done uploading, it'll have a little sequence of red and blue flashes. There's the red one. That's uploading the software. Now what's going to happen in a minute, you got to watch this one for me, or that one for me. There's the motor spinning up. Clockwise? It's going the same way. Yeah, okay. So all my motors are spinning in the same direction. Um, that's not what I want. I want clockwise and counterclockwise and uh, we're gonna have to fix it by reversing some wires I think I'm not sure okay now that I spun the motors up and they they all worked um, you undefine it you take and you put your two little slashes back in front of it and then you go back and you recompile and then you get the green line again and then after you get done compiling recompiling you go up there and you upload it again and then that takes you back into flight mode. So anything you do after that with your, your uh, radio controller will make your motor spin. So basically uh, it's all calibrated. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and reverse my wires to make them run clockwise and counterclockwise. And then go ahead and recalibrate them and see maybe if they all spin in the right direction. Okay, what I got going on here now is uh, I just got done re-undefining the cannot fly. Uh, what I did is I found out all my motors were spinning in the same direction. So I went and I reversed the wires on that one, which is, I don't remember, uh, three? I don't know. Well, anyway, I reversed the wires on that motor and that motor. Now that one's running counterclockwise, that one runs clockwise, that one runs counterclockwise, and that one runs clockwise. Anyway, I'm getting ready to re-upload. I'm going to define the cannot fly thing again and run these motors just one more time. And then I'm going to slow down the video, play it back in really slow motion so we can watch the motors spinning in opposite directions. Any second now. That is so cool. Alright, that was my motor ESC calibration. Um, I learned how to do that online. There was a thing on the MultiWee site that explained it very plainly how to do it. You don't have to go through all this hooking up 
uh, one ESC to your uh, transmitter or to your receiver at a time crap uh, especially with this uh, ESC that I got the 4-in-1 it's just easier just to do them all at once so hopefully that uh, the minimum and maximum stuff was all right and they're calibrated properly so I can take off filming all right I'm gonna do what uh, I guess what you would call an ESC calibration I'm doing it with the props on you're not supposed to do this but I have like 20 pounds of weight on the skids on the landing gear with C clamps holding it down plus I'm gonna hold it in place there is a problem, the props aren't balanced yet, and this is a little stressful on it, so... Uh, but anyway, I'm, I gotta get it on video, so... <laughs> here goes nothing, we're gonna... run the ESC calibration tool. And as soon as it starts spinning, you'll, you'll see it. They're, the props are all going in the right direction. I'm gonna hold it down, because I, I still don't trust it. Well, on the last time we did this one, that prop right there went flying off. So it might again, I don't know, let's hope not. If it does, I'm going to have to find some kind of a fix for it. That's one thing I learned with the first time. Whoa, they're way out of balance, and that one didn't run right. Well, turns out one of my motors took a don't. This one right here, the one that was spinning funny when the, in the last run up test, uh, we uh, took the props off and I let it cool down and I spun it up again and it smoked it. It just smoke come rising out of it. The other three worked great. And uh, kind of put a damper in my spirits to say the least. And my trust in these motors is gone way downhill. I don't know about these Chinese things. Uh, they're cheap to start with. They're only like 10 bucks a piece. So I guess you get what you pay for. And in this case, I got what I paid for.